When you sell something, if your customers are using your products to monetize from their business, you can charge premium just because your gears are capable of generating revenue. Hey guys, it's Dwayne here. Why do you think people use MacBook? Is it is it actually a waste of money or is it actually a luxury item? I think there's a thing that people misunderstand about Apple products and MacBook in general. When I see people using MacBook and trying to play games or trying to install Windows in a different hard drive, it freaking drives me crazy. Purpose of using Apple products or MacBook is not to just go to Starbucks and show off to people. It doesn't make you look smarter or it doesn't even make it look expensive there's a stereotype it exists that when you use macbook in a public space people will be like oh this guy looks professional right there is a clear reason for it so why the hell people use macbook in today's world we have something called an asset and we have something called a liability it is a financial term asset is something that puts money in your pocket and liability is something that takes money out of your pocket in other word asset is an act of a creation liability is an act of consuming from this point when you look at the gears when you look at the equipments in this world any type of equipment there is a gear that is targeted for people who consume and there are gears that are targeted to people who create for example let's look at kitchen appliances if you look at refrigerator there are two versions of refrigerators right one for commercial and one for residence let's assume you buy the most expensive residence uh, refrigerator that has some touch screen outside you can control all the shit from outside it looks fancy it's huge the temperature control features are great all this fancy luxury kitchen appliances just think about it it's expensive right if you if you think about you know refrigerators for residents even though you go to the most luxurious option it's roughly less than two thousand dollars or maximum you know two thousand dollars twenty five hundred just somewhere around there but if you actually look at the commercial options that that refrigerators that are being used in a commercial space is just like restaurants your starting point is at least four thousand to five thousand dollars this is a concept that everybody knows gears that are being used in the commercial spaces are more expensive than the residences right because if you think about it, they both use similar type of machines or similar type of technology. They use similar cooler, right? It doesn't cost a lot more to produce commercial equipment compared to residence equipment. Why does it cost twice or three times different from resident refrigerators? Because in business pricing, there is something called a premium charge for capital assets. When you sell something, if your customers are using your products to monetize from their business, you can charge charge premium just because your gears are capable of generating revenue. The reason why Apple products are very expensive and they charge you premium is not because their hardware or their softwares are superior compared to window products. It is not. It's just their products are being used by people to monetize. People are creating, people are designing, people are taking photos and selling it, people are building businesses, people are trading, people are creating, right? They are making money. They're generating revenue they're building businesses with this product that's why they charge premium that's why i call it as a capital asset every creators in this world their job is not to consume their job is to create in order to create something you need gear that fit your purpose and in the first place when apple released their products when apple launched their business philosophy their business value is to help those people who create things who create values in this world Apple at the core, its core value is that we believe that people with passion can change the world for the better. That's what we believe. And we've had the opportunity to work with people like that. We've had an opportunity to work with people like you, with software developers, with customers who have done it in some big and some small ways. And we believe that in this world. People can change it for the better. And that those people that are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones that actually do. That's why all their gears, all their products are targeted to people who create things, who create values in this world. 
That is why they charge premium. It's not simply because their hardware or the software is superior than other companies. One of the interesting characteristics of those products that are being used as a capital asset is that people like to buy those stuff not to use as an asset, but to actually show off to other people that they look professional. And that is the reason why Apple products have that stereotype. When people look at it, it looks professional, it looks expensive, because those are being used by professionals to make money. It's simple as that. And you can you can easily see this by just you know opening your first opening the laptop and if you actually see the tool when you first buy your windows laptop or computer there's literally nothing it lets you customize from a to z if you actually open macbook there are already softwares that are built in that you can use professionally to create things like iMovie, Numbers, Main Stage, Final Cut Pro, Compressor, Motion. So to wrap up, using Apple products doesn't make you smarter. They only look smarter and they only look professional because professionals use Apple products to make money. That's why they charge premium for it. You know, selecting the right tools is crucial for content creators or even any other creators in this world when it comes to monetizing their content or just simply just to make money from online. And when I consult my students, when I consult my clients, when they're thinking of getting new gear, I always tell them to get a MacBook. I don't recommend any window-based system when it comes to creating content, when it comes to creating anything, because they're not meant to create value, they're meant to consume content. All right, that's it for today, guys. I hope this video helped you in terms of choosing your gears. Just remember, buy MacBook Pro. When you're starting out, just buy MacBook Air. Don't buy those window products if you're not consuming any content. And if you're a creator, stop consuming content, start creating content. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.